health trip resulting from bad representation of their animals, rather than uh, a re reorientation stemming away from the individual opinions of members of the movement who are also committed to animal rights. Perhaps helpful to return to the Plan Nord at this juncture. Bringing other animals more comprehensively into the considerations of this movement would, on the one hand, not change a great deal of the overarching objectives of the movement, the same exploitation opposed on grounds of ecological, uh, economic, and indigenous justice, can also be opposed in a fairly similar manner from the perspective of animal rights. But what such an extension would accomplish is, firstly, the provision of a more complete understanding of the issue at hand and a more comprehensive motivation for mobilizing, and secondly, an important step in transforming political culture more generally uh, in a manner which is less exclusionary of the status of other animals. So in other words, uh, this kind of involvement in social movements allows us as animal rights advocates to further the interests of other animals, both in the context of political social movements which have implications on animals, and uh, by providing an important step along the road towards a uh, more general political culture which is, in which the interests of other animals are considered more comprehensively and also more proactively in the sense that uh, it becomes more the norm that the interests of other animals will be, uh, will go looking for them and will we'll think about that uh, without other people sort of having to push for it. Uh, by bringing up other animals in this course of social movements, I think that we can effectively contribute towards a normalization of this concern for other animals in politics. So, Alright, so uh, I guess what we thought was after the first few uh, parts of this, we stopped questions. It is a workshop, so we really want this to be a kind of collaborative <coughs> session where we can come up with uh, strategies that we can uh, take with us in our, in our future actions. And so, maybe I can read all the questions, or read one, and then... Okay, so the first question we have, uh, and these are fairly general, is have you uh, had experience participating in social movements that excluded other animals, uh, you know, sort of in a way that we've uh, been discussing this morning? Yes, you say yes. Uh, yeah, well, um, I'm from Connecticut, and I was kind of involved in some Connecticut branches of the Occupy thing, and that was coming up. Um, one of the signs that I did well, that one of the first marches we went through was um, something about like people and animals and planet over profit or something. Um, and I got a few comments from people who were who were there about like how like they were really like derisive of, of the fact that like if I was including anything besides people in that uh, uh, sign. <laughs> so um, that was probably you know the most kind of direct experience I had with that. Anyone else? Come on, guys, it's a workshop. We want to participate. <laughs> it's not too much to talk about. Yes? I wanted to raise a question. Uh, it seems difficult to know how one can represent an animal without being able to uh, uh, achieve a, 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 an ideal form of communication with uh, non human other. I mean, of course. Some some primates can do you know, sign language, and uh, you know some 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 birds can uh, kind of uh, communicate in human ways and in some uh, fairly you know uh, rudimentary ways. But how can we represent what what we can't effectively uh, understand? You know, is it, uh, and 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 kind of like to answer that question. I don't know. I don't like to discuss. I mean, so yeah, I mean, I absolutely agree. It's, it's not as though uh, when I, I do recognize the most, a bit of a problematic term when I talk about being representative animals. Of course, I recognize we can't, you know, 100% say like I mean, what is it that their agency wants. Um, what I see it as more is the fact that uh, any even just consideration or even awareness of animals is often completely uh, invisible in, in political discussions, and so. Granted, we don't we don't have a ready-made uh, conception of what the interests of other animals are, but we can at the very least uh, try to shift towards something where there's at least discussion of what they might be, and at least that consideration can form a core part of 